Hi there, this is Merle Strom. 2019 is about over. We are now approaching the year 2020. If you are a regular Plash Player user, streaming videos as part of your job, or just someone who likes watching videos from a certain site or sites, then you very well know that Adobe Systems is pulling the plug on this platform by December 31st, 2020 to make way to HTML5 or Hypertext Markup Language, latest version 5. HTML5 incorporates three different kinds of codes in one platform from HTML, which defines the meaning and structure of the web content, together with cascading style sheets describing the presentation of web pages layout, colors, and fonts, and JavaScript for enhancing the user experience and interaction with the website. I'm not going deeper within the HTML5 platform right now. I'll wait until January 1st, 2021 when it is fully enforced. I made this video to talk more about the Chrome browser in relation to the ending Adobe Plush Player to explain further why the content settings are no longer found in the Chrome browser settings. Users are getting confused when they watch my old videos looking different from what they currently have in their Chrome settings. This prompted me to make this fifth video to explain what happened after the previous videos were made and published. September 4, 2018, the 10th year Google Chrome browser anniversary was the date that version 69 update was released and the date that Google Chrome made changes to the Plush Player settings, eliminating the content settings. On this date, websites needing to run Flash can no longer be added to the Allow list in the Plush Player settings on Chrome browser. All the major browsers, not just Chrome from this date, left the decision to users to give permission to websites needing to run Flash to watch their contents. This can be done directly at the website needing to run Flash. On October 29, 2018, I made and published my fourth video with the title, How to Enable Adobe Flash Player When Adding Sites on Settings, Not an Option, for 2019 to December 2020 to update you, my viewers, on these changes and to show you how this is done. This is a video streaming website by CNN. In some cases, like this one, the streaming screen is white with a Flash Player symbol or icon in the middle when Flash is blocked. All you need to do is click on the icon to enable Flash. A dialog box will open right below the web address with the option to click Allow and you're all set. So we, for sure, we do here. We do flamenco, we do tapas, and we do siesta. As a reminder, according to Chrome, your Flash settings will be kept until you quit Chrome. I went back to StreamFair.com to see if I have to re-enable the Flash player. In this site, I didn't have to. 
Unfortunately, this video did not attract as much viewers as my three old ones. I had to direct viewers needing help from the old videos to the newer one. I will put the title and the link to this on screen, as well as in the description below that you could click on and be directed to to make it easier for you to find it. I will also create a separate playlist for Adobe Flash Player in my YouTube channel so you can see which one is the latest, making it number one in the list. Hopefully, I can create a title for this latest video that will attract future viewers with Flash Player issue needing assistance. One of the 10th anniversary changes that I mentioned was eliminating the content settings. It is now called site settings. Let me open Chrome to show you how it looks like currently. Follow along with me by clicking on the three dots on the upper right side corner of your Chrome browser. Go down and click on settings. Below the settings on the left side of the page, third from the bottom is the advanced option. Click the down arrow to its right to expand for more options. Click on Privacy and Security. It will open more options in the middle of the page. Second from the bottom of Privacy and Security, in between Manage Security Keys above the Clear Browsing Data is the Site Settings. Click on it. It will open another page on Site Settings, which includes all sites, permissions, and data stored from across the sites. Here you will find the Plush Player Settings. Click on the down arrow to its right to view what's in it. It is still the same from what it was in September 2018. Let's exit out of Flash and go back to Site Settings. Let's view permissions and data stored across sites. Click on the right arrow and see what's in there. Most visited sites are shown by default. The websites with down arrows and three dots next to this are the ones with Flash enabled by default on Chrome by Google. The sites with the right arrows next to this are the ones that are blocked and can be enabled with user's permission done manually right here. If you like this video, please hit the like button down below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell next to it to get new video notifications. Thanks for watching. I'll see you next time.